violence? No. What? I mean, if there's a certain amount of, you know, violence or action in this series of films, you know, that's the movie. If Brock Landers is slick with a gun, he does so only in the vein of good and right. Brock protects the values of the American ideal and fights for causes that instill pride I'm in a society God. where morals are hard to come by. Who sent you? Who sent you? Get the fuck off me. Lie asshole. still, lie still, I'll punch you in the goddamn face. Fuck, fuck off. I'll find out who sent you. Amber, I live in this world. I don't like violence any more than you do. Violence is a bad thing. But when you see violence in films, it's, you know, if movies, films caused violence, we'd be able to wipe out violence tomorrow. Boom, no more films. That's fine with me. I'll find something else to do. I'll fuck on my own time. You know, I got other interests. I'm a magician. Um, and, you know, hopefully I like, you know, that that will be something that I focus on in the future because you can't fuck forever. I realize that. Anyway, violence is something that plagues us as a society. Well, the fine line is I'm playing a character. You know, I mean, I'm Dirk Diggler. Brock Landers is a character that I'm playing. I'm gonna ask you once more, and I'm gonna ask you nice. Where the fuck is Ringo, you bitch? Fuck you. Oh! Uh, why do I love him? Yeah. He's, uh, he's very special, and um, he can fuck hard, or he can fuck, like, really gently. He's the best. Uh, I think that's, that's part of my reason for doing this, yeah. you know? I, I've gotten thousands upon thousands of letters, you know, from people telling me, God, you've taught me this, and you've made our love life so much better. And this isn't, you know, go out and have sex with 10 million people and, you know, how to get a girl off. It's about how to get your wife off. You know, if, if only, you know, people could have been doing this before, we could have saved a million relationships. You know, I've saved thousands. Blocking an idea or a movement, you know, Jack will put the final touches together for what the camera needs for editing and stuff, but, um, you know, he allows me to block my own sex scenes and, you know, gives me the freedom to develop the character and stuff like that. And God, I, I don't know any other, you know, director who would let an actor, you know, do that, you know? <laughs> I don't allow him to block his own sex scenes. It is. It's jealousy. It's deceitfulness. It's vindictiveness. It's all of that stuff, you know? But, I mean, God, what can you expect when you're on top, you know? It's like Napoleon, when he was the king, you know, people were just constantly trying to conquer him, you know, in the Roman Empire. So it's re history repeating itself all over again. To all the critics out there, you know, I know they're going to be reviewing this, and I know they're going to try to knock me. I just want them to know. Is it okay if I say this into camera, Amber? Okay. I only am who I am because I was born that way. I have a gift, and I am trying to not be selfish about it, but to use it, okay? And if you want to knock me for that, it's your own problem, okay? Jealousy will get you nowhere. I'm going to keep rocking on. For Dirk Diggler, the future is something to look forward to, not to fear. He is a creative man of many interests. Film, poetry, karate, music, and dance. He is a man of passion and mystery. He is a man of lust. 